but we'll never see it happen. The two card is up. The one card is up now. We'll flip it around, go sideways, and we are racing. There's 75. There's another 44 machine. How will their start fare? That's a good shot there as we're headed into the first turn. Bell Helmets putting 100 bucks on the line. Wow. Chris Aldridge with the whole shot. He's got Renslin right there with him. Wow, wow. and just skying it. It's one Man. way to ha handle that jump. A lot of Team Green bikes up in there for sure. And it was Chris Aldridge with the early hole shot. Bike number 88 won that first moto. All Dr. Edge, they told me last night, Team I Green. heard that. All Dr. Edge. See if that sticks. That's tough, man. Or giggles, because he just starts to giggle and he won't oh, stop. Really? <laughs> tickle them. Two totally different nicknames there. This is 458, moto number two. There he is, Daniel Baker in the number two spot, number 44. Kid gets off the gate good, man. He is up yes. front all the time. He has gotten good starts, man, just about every moto this year. There's Renslin. Oh, ah, Renslin with a slight miscue, and Nick Gaines slips by him. Number 71 machine of Nick Gaines was waiting on that. And Luke Renslin with a little miscue. That may be all it takes. You've got to be almost perfect to run down Chris Arge or anybody up front in the pro class. So Aldridge going to lead him into this sand wash. And we'll Wes see if this Kane turns out. just fell walking up the stairs. <laughs> no, he did not. He did not. Still said it. He just oh, fell Oh, he just up. fully admitted it. He no fully problem. admitted it. Aldridge, no such trouble. The man out of Oregon, new to the Team Green program this year, had a lot of injuries. Kawasaki was smart to pick him up, and he is peaked at the right time, getting away from the rest of the field. We'll see if Baker or Rensling can get back in this. Rensling, he didn't waste a lot of time after that mistake. He's right back there, Kev. Yeah, absolutely. He is not too far off the pace. He needs to get around Baker and try to make a run at the number 88, Chris Aldridge. I'll tell you what, man, these pro classes, we've not seen any real battles up front. It's just been Lee, check out, nobody challenges you. I'd like to see somebody get up there and mix it up with Aldridge, mix it up with R.J. Hampshire. True I that. know they're trying. Yeah, I agree. But uh, the man to do it he could be it. Luke Renslin. Made the pass. He's back around Kentucky's finest, Daniel Baker, just past the Yamaha Mechanics area. So Luke Renslin, I can see it, man. He wants to get a moto win. Snatch one away from Chris Aldridge. And Nick Gaines with the pass on Daniel Baker as well. So Shea Bentley's got him tuned up and ready to go. Nick Gaines there trying to hold on. He almost went down just then. And they're going to drag race right to the Kometic right-hander. Gaines will go wide. Baker, whoa, who is that? Just snatching his way, running right into him. The number 37 Suzuki of Chandler Lindsay finished fourth. And he just went right on by. So Baker getting shuffled back. Not sure what the problem is here, but man, he just got passed by two or three riders. Baker was in title contention. <laughs> but right now, the focus is going to be on Rensland, who was third in the first moto. That's Wes Kane. The chuckle was because he showed me a pretty cool photo. You're full of those, man. Instagram was made for you, brother. Anyway, Baker. Now he's back on it at this point. Just made a couple of mistakes there in those GoPro 10 commandments as he watched Nick Gaines in the 71 try to get away. There's Gaines trying to make gains. You know that was coming, didn't you? Mile away. Yep. See it. Been working no on that one for about it. 10 years here. And we'll see if Renslin can put a hook in Aldridge. Renslin was third in the first moto. He's going to have to really sprint these first few laps because that's what Aldridge is going to do. Try to check out. Look at that, Jason. We are going to see a race. Renslin has reeled him in. Finally, a pro class race at the tip of the sphere here. And Luke Renzen with the big number one plate wants to go after the double eight of Chris Aldridge. So we are going to hook it up. Aldridge versus Renslin. You hear the crowd out there? They're yeah. Into it. They're, they're feeling the same way you are. Yeah, we got a battle here. Finally, man. Let's one of these do A classes. This. Yeah. The closest we've had at all, at one point I thought Plessinger might battle Hampshire in one class. He went down. Otherwise, it has been all Hampshire in his divisions. And in the first mode of this class, all Aldridge. And Aldridge and Hampshire are together in a different class. But Aldridge has gotten horrible starts there, so they haven't been able to square off either. Renzen around the outside, under the Red Bull arch, side by side, almost got it. So the Yamaha man out of New Jersey who makes his racing home in Florida is looking to make things happen, that Horton Yamaha team. They got the good coffee and donuts up there in Canada with Tim Horton and some fast Yamahas in the amateur ranks. Trying to make the pass on the Monster Energy. Team Green Kawasaki man, Chris Aldridge. All Dr. Edge on the edge right now. And now Aldridge kind of dealing with some pressure now. 
from the number one of Rensland. Rensland is right there. He has nothing to lose here. And Rensland almost had the pass made at that one stretch after the start straight. Couldn't make it happen. So he goes back to work. It's the battle we wanted to see. Two of the fastest kids here at the ranch. And the lap times show it. A 155-4 for Rensland. Correct me if I'm wrong. That might be the fastest lap we've seen all day today by that rider of the number one Yamaha. And, man, he is scrubbing it, doing everything he can to get a little bit of an edge on the 88. <laughs> All those oh, and Ooh. he almost drove the front end of the ground there. Rensland trying so hard. Nick Gaines, though, he's coming. He's almost in the shot with Rensland. And up and over the tunnel of love. Two laps in the book. Plenty of time for this thing to really just boil over and just throw down by the mechanics area. The number 88, Allridge there with Rensland right with him. Got his brother there with that big, huge beard, giving it a big thumbs up. The man behind the beard there, that's Cody Clyde. This is going to be a good one. He might have made the pass right there. Nope. Same thing in the previous lap. That's his line. He is locked in on him. Allridge is feeling the pressure from the number one. Man, Allridge gave him that inside line. Can you believe that? Look at He's going to take it away. I cannot believe that. He went as wide as you can possibly go. And Rensland just snatched it, said, I will gladly accept that. Thank you. Good job by Rensland to see that coming and take quick advantage. Wait a minute. Look at the third place rider, Nick Gaines. He's coming, man. He's going to have the best lap possibly of the race. 155.7 last time around. And he's matching that up again. A three-horse shootout. We wanted a good race up front. Well, you're about to get it. 71, Nick Gaines, teammates with Orange. Shea Bentley is about to pass out on the side of the racetrack. He's so pumped up. What has happened to Aldridge here was doing a good job trying to hold off the advances of Rensland and now clinging to the number two spot. Here is the 71. Nick Gaines out of Georgia has come so close so many times to a championship here at the ranch. Has never been able to do it. Little mistake at the bottom of that anthill. Loses a little ground to the 88. Has to come back after him. So it's Aldridge out of Oregon, the Georgia rider. Gaines in second. And New Jersey's Luke Rensland is now getting away with a lead in this moto. And I'll tell you what, Rensland's best buddy is now Gaines because Rensland had a third in that first moto. He needs to push Aldridge back to third. Then Aldridge we'd be still, tied, one three three one, right? That's what he'd like to have happen. What Nick Gaines getting out first one? We'll have to see about Let's get that. To start doing the uh, sabermetrics up here. He got a six, so he's just a spoiler in this one. I think that was Gaines airing out that jump right before the. Tunnel of love. Say it. I cannot believe Say we're calling it. it that. That is what we're calling that jump. That is terrible. It is. Nick Gaines, though, he's quick right here, man. He looks visually faster in some of these points on the racetrack, and he is coming. He is rolling up on ours, and there he goes, man. Sets you up really good for these next couple of turns. Ours, let's see if he goes wide again. I don't understand that line at all. Nope. Yep. Kind of. Yeah, all right. I wonder Gaines. if he just made a mistake coming into the corner. Maybe missed Came the break. Came in too something. hot, missed the break, something like that. Wow, skimming. There it is. The Ten Commandments is Gaines. Woo, get oh. your cameras ready right here, folks. Double Kawasaki's, two bikes and one right. Nick Gaines has taken the lead from Chris Aldridge. Moves into that number two spot. Aura shuffled back to the number three spot. So Nick Gaines making his case for, hey, man, somebody sign me. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Hey, Gaines. Has a shot and at the lead. Somebody check on Shea Bentley. Make sure he's not face down on the side of the track, <laughs> jumping up and down. Well, the thing of it is, Nick Gaines got busted up in that one first turn uh, pile up early on today. It kind of limp back. His bike was smoldering a little bit. But evidently, he's got fire in his eyes right now. Whatever he, they did when they went back there, got him ready for this one. Mentally, he left that one in that last race. And now he is coming out here and definitely performing, I mean, Made a solid, legit pass right through the Ten Commandments Dude, you can on see Chris it. Aldridge. He is feeling it. He Something wants a piece up. of Rensland. And there's, there's Rensland. You can see him right there. And Daniel the Baker is still back there in fourth. Let me just give you a little rundown. Chandler Lindsay is fifth in the number 37. Zach Commons, sixth. Franklin Nogaria is seventh. Hey. Aaron Lampy, Cody Chisholm, and Keith Tucker round out the top ten. This is 458 coming your way from the Rocky Mountain 
ATVMC AMA Amateur National Motocross Championships. This is Loretta Lynn Ranch, all presented by Amsoil. Watch Rensselaer now as he heads into the trees. Kevin He's going to try to shake gains. That's not going to be easy. We're going to take a little commercial break here on the Internet Show. We'll be right back with the racing here at the ranch. Where's Rodney at? We only had one seat. Uh, he's in there somewhere. Yeah, Rodney. Rodney's in there somewhere. He's on the floor, passed yeah, out. Yeah. We only had one seat up here, and it was named Wes Kane. <laughs> Look at that. The Jolly, Jolly Rancher, Rancher has taken over. Jolly really? Rancher did. Yep. He's just throwing it around in there. Sorry about that. Had a comments. All right, so our battle is between Luke Rensland. No change in the order. I'll tell you what. This section right here, these GoPro 10 commandments, this is where the second place man, Nick Gaines, has been making his gains. But I think Rensland picked up on it a little bit. Not the same line, but the same technique, skimming the top. Just get it. Yep. Get it done. Rensland stepping up to the challenge, though. Gaines got to him. They were side by side this time last lap, and now he's kind of opened it back up here. So we'll see what's in the tank for Rensland and Gaines here. Well, Rensland obviously knows what he has to do. He's got to win this moto. Tied up, baby. Yep, and with Aldridge, the first moto winner now back in third. Pretty distant third, too. Rensland and him will be tied. You think he'll come back for a third time to defend his championship next year? Rensland? Not Let's a go chance. for the three-peat. Not a chance. I'm going to win this forever. Forever. I'm going to keep so coming back. Can take it away. Take this one. Championship runs right through New Jersey. Come talk to me. The, the Horton Racing Yamaha yep. of Luke Rensland making it work for him right now. Good for him. He's going to be fun to talk to. He'll be in a good mood. He'll be goofy. Well, no, once he finds out, he's got to talk to Wes Kane. That'll uh, just kill the sure. vibe. Yeah, it'll kill, and it's kill all the vibe. Wes Kane headed on down to the podium. Rensland, will he be the one that uh, gets talked to last? Will he have the moto victory? Will Gaines figure something out? Little bobble there by Rensland. The crowd loves it. You can hear them cheering all the way around the racetrack. Thousands of people out here. Look at that, Gaines. Air out the tunnel of love there. Across the start, straight away we go behind the billboards. Look over to your left yet. That's where I'm going to be in about 10 years. Just go ahead and get that picture ready for him. Make some room. Slide over. Yeah, who's going to have to go? Who's that's gonna get a the good boot? wall of fame. I don't know. That's the Mount Rushmore of amateur motocross here at Loretland. Who goes? Gaines getting around some of the lap traffic. It's still Aldridge third. Baker and Zach Commons up to the number five spot. So Commons making some moves. Franklin Nogueira sixth. Keith Tucker was 10th at one point, now up to 7th. Cody Chisholm on the map, he's 8th. Nathan Haas and Aaron Lampy. That's your top 10. It's Cody Nation of Chislam. Speaks to Chislamic. And Gaines all by himself now. And is Aldridge getting back into this? I think he is. I think he's closing up a little bit. I'm not sure oh, if Gaines sure had comes. a bad uh, section. Or not. The last lap, it wasn't that close. Uh, so the scoreboard says he's got about 10 seconds on him. But it looks a little closer in the back there. I believe that's the number 80, maybe, or the number 90 might be a lap down. Oh, okay. Something. Not the yeah. 88. Could be Cole Robbins, number 80, in 36th spot. There's Gaines working his way around and through the sandbox, the Rocky Mountain ATV MC sandbox. And that thing was about seven foot higher. They just chewed that, that little anthill. They turned a mountain into a molehill, literally. Like Except Martin said. Peters doing a lot of the work out here. That's kind of the way he does it with these split sections. And they do change throughout the day. Which lines, the better on the inside, better on the outside. We see it change consistently. And uh, he's out there marking it off of those flip-flops. Walks it off there. He had closed-toed shoes on when I saw him after the races last night. I could not believe no, it. No, no doubt. Unbelievable. I didn't think he even packed that. Was that a two-lap card? If I see the two-lap card. It I saw a card. Been some sort of a card. Could have been a hallmark. Greeting card. Could be a pit board. Tony Moore, Tony Moore's Tony actually pit, pit boarding, boarding for board. Luke Rensland, our finish line flagger. Wow. That was lap number eight here. We've got at least a couple more laps, maybe a, even three laps for Could that Could go matter. 11? All right. Could go 15 laps. Why not? I Fuel saw Tony Moore's holding it, but I'm not sure if he was holding it out over the uh, track for the riders to see. And now Rensland is broken free. Four seconds is the distance between himself and Gaines. Only thing separating him from a moto win now is his lap traffic. Goes back to the jump through the middle of the Ten Commandments instead of skimming the top. And 
Two lap cards should come out this time. We got Think confirmation so. that it should come out this time around. Then the white flag, then the check flag, and then the riders go into the podium. If you're a top three guy, then they'll talk to Wes Kane. After you're done with that, you'll go back to your RV, put the bike up, clean it, service it, change your gear, wash your gear, get something to eat, hop in bed, get some pasta, call it a night, wake up, about 7.30, go for a little run, see about what time your next moto is going to start. Lots to do here if you're a rider. Wow, that's the rules. That is, those are the absolute follow rules. follow it. It's actually a class. You have to, there's a class where you have to eat pasta. If you do not eat pasta, Period. we don't want it to be, we don't want it to be a diet race. We no. don't have to come down to who has the Carb better diet. Up, so we're going to have actually a uh, uh, spec class, spec food. Yeah, everybody has to go into the pasta line. <laughs> oh, man, more pasta. Yep. Yeah, don't be cheating. Don't be putting any kind of uh, multivitamins nope. in your cheek. None of that. You have that spec food in the spec food class. And a two-lap board now going to come out this time around for the number one. Man, that's a, that's a gutsy move to throw that one on the bike, you know? To come back, you could run your normal two-digit number or whatever, but Luke wanted to give some love to his sponsors, let them know he's a returning champ, last year's champ in this class, so he is back, a two-time defending champ possibly. Going to be tied up with Chris Allridge now. Chris went one and now three. Luke will go three and one if we freeze the field and everything stays the same. Bouncing his way through, that's the Yamaha Mechanics area. And Luke Rensland, this was a pressure ride. Did not get the start, didn't get the whole shot here. Had to track down Aldridge. Jordan Smith letting us know via Twitter on the show that uh, unfortunately he hurt his ankle earlier in the day and was not able to ride this race. And Jordan didn't finish it yesterday, so the 450A class not so good to him. Man, that's a real bummer. Jordan Smith, uh, obviously Hampshire. Brensland, Aldridge, Aaron Plessinger, a lot of other riders can stake this claim, but you can at least make the argument that Smith could be the fastest rider of any A class. You just you never know how the circumstances are going to go, and we just didn't get to see his A game today. Yeah, his dad told me they've only ridden once in the last 10 days, still kind of nursing, and tweaked it again. It was all swollen up on the riders' meeting night, so just not the best of weeks for him, but he's all set, signed, sealed, delivered, ready to turn pro. There's Cody Chisholm. Good luck at Loretta. Show him what's up. You can do it. I think Cody's out there right now, right? And Kyle's here at the ranch somewhere. I saw him about uh, an hour ago. Um, I saw him down in the impound area helping out, giving riders some water. Good He's uh, another rider who had a great career here at the ranch. Dean Wilson wow. checking in there. Hashtag Loretta's live. And maybe one of your tweets will get up there on the screen. It is Luke Rensland powering down. Had a serious challenge from Nick Gaines for about three, four laps in this moto and then was able to overcome that and start pulling away. And Rensland, who has the dream, dr the dreamland track down in Florida, is about to take this white flag and have one more to go, and that's a mercy rule on everyone else because he's got a pretty solid lead. It's the Racer X Virtual Trainer last lap. Check it out at racerxvt.com. And now behind the billboards, Woo! watch that. Lays it deep over in that berm, almost caught his leg. Gets the signal board in the Yamaha Mechanics area, now into the Bell Moto Forest. And he's out of the woods, literally but not figuratively. You never know on these final laps. Man, folks lining the, the fence all the way around the racetrack enjoying this 458 class. The weather's perfect. The racing's been awesome. That was race number 27 we are finishing up. Let's see what race number 28 will bring us here. Looks like a pair of 65 CC classes. And Luke Rensland putting the finishing touches on a solid moto here. He went after Allridge and got him pretty quickly. He's got about a minute's worth of work to do. And he will go get his tongue lashing from West Kane on the podium. Headed into the sand wash right by the Rocky Mountain ATV MC semi. Good a spectator vantage point there. They got some chairs set up for the fans to see that action and just see how rough it gets. Horton here's a who. Horton Yamaha team. No relation to Tim Hortons. No. Nope. Purveyor of fine donuts and coffee sure up out of Canada. I like that tight shot watch, watching that bite work underneath Luke Renzel, man. It is tough going out there on that racetrack. It is chewed up. They make it that way. They laid out the schedule and track breaks in such a way where the A-class riders 
really got their taste of a rough motocross track. And this is going to be it. Checkered flag is out. 450A. Luke Rensland, he came, he saw, he conquered. Had to pass some of the stiffest competition in the division to get the win. There's they Jelly, his mechanic. He's pumped. Yeah. There's Wes trying to get some free T-shirts out of the deal some way. Really? Remember that year Mitch Payton made West Kane T-shirts? Flew them in. Started. Trucked them in here. Like the style. Like what you're doing. There's the brother Cody Clyde in the house. What's up, Cody? He is pumped. There you go. Yeah. He needs those Instagram followers. I know the man behind the beard. Oh. There it is. Best beard in the business? Maybe. They are pumped. There's Ed Torrance. Really happy to see that guy up on the box, man. There's Shea Bentley. How you doing, buddy? Number 71. He's pumped for his guy. There's Ken Essex, the PR guy over at Team Green. There's a little country boy. Listen, that accent, man. Oh, yeah, Nick He James. has got to go. What's up, Shea? Oh, you meant Shea. Both of them. Both oh, Shea's even honest. worse. <laughs> There's Reed Nordine, the head boss there at Kawasaki. Chris's mechanic there holding on to Chris's bike. Yeah, Shea Bentley's down here trying to lift it on the Ugh, stand, but so heavy. he's struggling here, Kevin. <laughs> I see that. He's a little <laughs> short, man. The bike's getting bigger. He's got to walk underneath that skid plate and just kind of stand up and throw the bike on his shoulders. We're going to build him leg extenders, man. <laughs> he's okay, Kevin, though. He's he was a, jumping up and down. He almost threw a hammy out. No, be careful. Be careful. Nick Gaines, good ride, dude. Nice work down there. He's chugging a little bit of water there. Hey, Kevin Kelly, down here on the podium. And we've got Chris Aldridge over there. We got a bronze medal for him and the Bell Helmets $100 whole shot award check for Chris Aldridge. He's going to pop his little face up here on the podium. Here you go, Chris. You get the bronze medal. We're going to present you with this check, Bell Helmets $100 gift card. We're going to put you right up in the front. Let's get up here so we can get a look at you. All right, guys, give it up one time. He's going to finish third and get the Bell Helmets $100 whole shot award, Chris Aldridge. Chris, tell us about your start. Uh, you know, I got off to a, a great start thanks to the guys over at Team Green, Monster Energy Pro Circuit, Kawasaki. This bike rips and gets me off the gate hard. And uh, just made sure I got my shifts clean and uh, stayed in my line and ended up coming out on top. I didn't think I was going to have it at first, but uh, ended, up, uh, ended up getting it. Tell us about some of the good people helping you out. Can't thank my mom and dad back at home enough. My little brother Chance, I'm a mechanic, Andrew Bauer. These bikes are working great. The whole Monster Energy Pro Circuit team, Green Kawasaki team, uh, Renthal, Fly, Scott, EVS, uh, my trainer Charles Dow, and, and everyone. I can't thank you enough. Uh, just trying to do the best I can, man. It's hard. All right, guys, give it up one time. The 88 ride of Chris Alridge with the Bell Helmets $100 gift card and the bronze medal. A silver medal for the 71 of Nick Gaines. Congratulations, Chris Aldridge. All right, come on up here, Nick Gaines. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, a silver medal. We're going to bring you in front of that bike. We'll put you up here, Nick. Congratulations out there. Take us back earlier in the day. You came off the track. You got a little banged up out there in that first turn. Yeah, the 250A start. I uh, had a decent jump, and I was coming into the first corner probably about sixth. And all of a sudden, just the whole field just starts leaning on me. So we all eat it really hard. And I wanted to go out there and finish, but my bike was just a little too tangled up. And But just put that moto behind us and then came into this moto good. Take me back out there on the track. How's the conditions out there? It's really good. It's still tacky, but it's really rough. So I liked it. A lot of people helping you out, Nick. You want to tell us about them? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, everybody at the Monster Energy Kawasaki Team Green. Ryan, Chappie, Shane, everybody just everybody puts in so much work for me. And Traxxas, Pro Circuit, um, Parts Unlimited, Thor, Maxima, uh, RKXL, Arai, Unifilter, just everybody. Thank you. Train us for this event. You've been hanging out with Shay Bentley. Let tell us about it. Yeah, Shay Bentley. He's awesome. He uh, helps me out more than I can say thank you for. And he, uh, we're just great friends, and it's seems to be working so it's great congratulations out there put your hands together for nick Gaines. i got a gold medal for luke rensland i'm going to come up here on the podium this guy brought the number one plate back down here strapped it on his bike and now back up on the podium again telling everybody i am the real deal coming out of new england area 
Luke Rindlison, congratulations. Thanks a lot, man. It feels good to be up here putting the number one bike up on the top of the box where it belongs. You know, uh, the beginning of the week was a little rough for me on starts and everything, but now I got it figured out and, you know, just trying to show everyone that, you know, I'm back defending this title and I'm not going to let it go. Tell me about the track out there and how's it holding up? Well, the track's actually great. You know, I think the overcast skies are kind of helping us out here. Uh, it's holding its moisture great, and uh, <clears throat> it's definitely a lot better than earlier in the day in the 250A moto. So uh, the MX Sports crew is doing a great job with that, and uh, it's awesome. You got a towel here. You got all your uh, list of your sponsors out here. You want to tell us about them? Yeah, absolutely. I have to thank my family, you know, my mom and dad, my brother Cody, my sister Hannah, uh, you know, my trainer Ross Munzer, my mechanic Jelly. Every one of them is, you know, they're just a great group of people that's, that's you know, keeping my spirits high and, you know, making me go down the line knowing that I can win. Uh, I also have to thank Horton Racing, Cycle Trader, Rock River Yamaha team. Everyone over there has helped me so much. Uh, you know, uh, I have to thank Fly, Scott, MX Solutions, GYTR, Renegade Fuels, uh, Matrix Concepts, W, Garnet, uh, Motion Pro, Boyson, Roost, Horton Tree Service, Yamalube, Pro Circuit, Twin Air, Dunlop, Tamer, Renthal, RKXL, Mac Tools, Monster Energy. Uh, I also have to give a shout out to Travis Miller and his little boy Styles. Uh, they came over last night. They were like super fans of me and the guy was super cool. You know, he was just super pumped on my riding this week. So I have to give a shout out to him. You know, he kind of raised my spirits last night. Tomorrow's cha championship. We start crowning them tomorrow and Saturday. What's your strategy now going into these last uh, motos here? Uh, my, my main key to the week has just been try to get good starts. I know if I start up front, I can maintain, uh, you know, I can maintain.